The Texas Senate gave preliminary approval once again to school funding bills that include education savings accounts. SB1 provides $8,000 savings accounts for eligible students to use on private school tuition and related education fees. SB2 includes $10,000 raises for teachers in rural school districts and $3,000 extra for urban teachers. It also increases public school funding by $75 per student. That is the first increase in four years. But there's no guarantee guarantee of a similar outcome in the Texas House. Fox 4's Alex Boyer in studio following the developments. Alex. Hi, Heather. You know, it's interesting. Governor Abbott says he thinks that the House is at the one yard line from passing education savings accounts, but a coalition of Democrats and rural Republicans have historically blocked voucher legislation in the House. Just hours after the Texas Senate approved Governor Greg Abbott's school choice bill during a third special session. Today we are here united with one message. Public dollars belong in public schools. Texas House Democrats once again vowed to block efforts to pass a universal education savings account program in the lower chamber. That our public schools will be required to hand over the taxes that they levy to private schools is robbery. Under the bill, Texas parents would get $8,000 per year to send their child to private school. Critics who refer to it as school vouchers say, among other things, it would take public dollars away from public schools who need them. Schools like Pinkston High in West Dallas, where a majority of students come from cash-strapped homes. This idea, this is not right. It is wrong. So we're saying no. Governor Abbott has now said he would add teacher pay raises and school funding to this special session, but only if school choice is passed by both chambers. We will deliver school choice for parents and we will put Texas on a pathway for a better education for all students in our great state. The latest data now shows Texas teachers get paid about $8,000 less per year than the national average. Still, union reps say they won't be held hostage by what they see as a power play by the governor. It's a total attitude of disrespect from this governor and the state leadership pushing for this voucher scam. For now, the focus for school board trustees like Nancy Humphrey remain on keeping those crucial public dollars in their own districts. Humphrey said in August, due to recapture, Plano ISD wrote a check to the state for nearly $250 million and yet passed a budget with a $24 million deficit in order to give teachers a very modest raise. If school choice passes, she worries things will get much worse. I'm concerned about the competition for funds. There is only one pie in the state of Texas, the budget, and so our sliver of pie will get smaller. And you know, teachers were the only state employees to not receive a raise in the regular session. The state representatives at today's press conference say they've talked to their superintendents and school board members who tell them they're willing to go without the funding from this cycle if it means defeating the school voucher bills this special session.